What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trent C. Back with another video. Um, today we're gonna be reacting to the sad reality of dating apps. You know what I'm saying? That boy camera drop. I'm gonna leave the real video in the description because I know y'all be wanting it. I know y'all be tired of me pausing and shit. You know what I'm saying? But y'all just bear with me, bro. You feel me? That's all you gotta do. You feel me? But uh, y'all do it. Love. An intense feeling of deep affection. That butterfly feeling. And that's why y'all watch me to hear my opinion spot. and shit. The third most important thing on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We all aspire to be in love one day. I mean, love makes the world go around. Love brought you here. Love brought me here. And it also brought every single human being on this earth here. That's that shows how important love truly is. And what is one way to find love in the beautiful year of 2024? dating apps we've all been on a dating app right or am i just exposing myself for being down bad i feel like everyone in their life has like an arc where they're on dating apps like crazy i'm not gonna i can say that i've never been on a dating app um even though i'm young as hell i'm 19 you feel me but like the fuck that that shit don't do nothing for you really niggas be using dating apps nowadays to just hook up you know what I'm saying? Just get like a little one night stand. But you better wrap up because you're going to be burning. You feel me? I, my arc actually came pretty early because, I mean, I'm 20 years old. I dropped out of college. I don't go to parties. I go to the gym and I make videos. How else am I going to find women? I mean, I could try rizzing up women at the gym, but I mean, I'm not trying to be Joey Swole's next victim. So that's already out of the window. So what do I result to? The wonderful world of online dating. It's amazing. It's glorious. It's Is it really? Now, for those of you that have never been on a dating app before, I feel like I got to explain to you guys the big three. You know how people always say there's a big three for anime? Anime, well, it's the exact same thing for dating apps. And that big three is Tinder, Hinge, and yeah, Tinder, on Tinder is the sure. generic dating app with the whole swipe right and swipe left system. Right for like, left for dislike. If two people swipe right on each other, boom. But the thing is about dating apps, bro, like you can easily get catfished. You know what I'm saying? You definitely got to stay safe too because these niggas are strangers. You feel me? You got to be smart about it. It's a match. After you match, you can text that person back and forth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. But if I'm being honest, nobody is on Tinder looking for a relationship. Everyone is just on Tinder looking to smash. And no, I'm not talking about Hulk smash. I'm talking about... Then you got Hinge, which is basically the dating app that gives the ugly dudes a shot. I say it gives the ugly dudes a shot because with Hinge, it has a completely different system compared to Tinder. Instead of just mindlessly swiping left and right, you have to like a picture or a prompt on somebody's profile. And with that, you can attach a little message to it. And if that person likes the message or likes how you look, then that person can choose to match up with you. So I've if you're not gifted with that. the looks of ASAP Rocky or Michael B. Jordan, then you still have a shot because you can kind of show off your personality. And then you got Bumble, which in never my opinion is honestly either. the worst out of the three. It's basically the same thing as Tinder, it's got the whole swipe left and swipe right system. But here's the twist. You know how in society, usually the man makes the first move when he's pursuing a woman? Well, on Bumble, it's a complete opposite. The women are supposed to make the first move. Men and women can both swipe left and swipe right on each other. But if they match, only the women can text first. It's pretty stupid if I'm being honest with you. On paper, it sounds like a great idea, you know? I see online a lot of people saying, like, if women shot their shot more, there will be more relationships out in the world, which I do believe it to would. an extent. But at the same time, I do think it's kind of stupid for an app to only let women shoot their shot first because I mean at the end of the day if I was a woman I would go nowhere near Bumble and I say that because it just sounds like extra work like why download an app where I gotta make the first move and put in that extra yeah, step when I can just download Tinder sure. Tinder or Hinge and just have men flock to me it's like asking somebody if they'd rather get one million dollars for free or one million dollars but they actually have damn I might make that a video idea like being on Tinder with a fake account I don't know, we're gonna see. To put the work in. Obviously, everybody's gonna pick that $1 million for free. But yeah, those three apps are pretty much the main three dating apps. Anything else, I've honestly never used because be real with me. Who is out here using farmersonly.com? <laughs> One thing that all these apps have in common though is that they all have these premium so long, subscriptions, bro. which offer things like more swipes, more information like who liked your profile and boosts so more people can see your profile. But if we're being honest here, this is just a dating app's way of capitalizing on lonely men. And the reason I say lonely men is That's because crazy. one dating apps most men get less matches than women because there's so many men on these apps there's actually studies that show that tinder is 75 percent men hinge is 64 percent men and bumble is 76 percent men so what's one way to help with this overflow of men buying their premium subscription and what's even crazier is the pricing on these plans <laughs> And 
then there's Tinder Select, <laughs> which is Tinder for $500 per month. Now I gotta state this right oh, here. Tinder what? Select isn't open to the public. You have to actually sign up for this. Only less than 1% of Tinder users actually have Tinder Select. So it's not really that important. It's pretty rare, but regardless, it Damn, is Tinder nah. for $500 a month. Like we're not gonna sit here and act like that's completely normal. For $500, I better have a shot with Tiana Trump, Margot Robbie, Ruby Rose, and any other bad on this earth. $500 yeah, is literally the price of a PS5. The saddest part about Tinder Select though is that the people who actually buy this are most likely still going to get the same results that they did prior to having Tinder exactly, Select. But let's be bro. real, some people Waste honestly just deserve money. to learn the hard way. If you spend $500 on a dating app, I mean, you deserve to have that post-transaction clarity. Also, one year of Tinder Select would be $6,000, which mm. is absolutely crazy to me. If you're spending $6,000 for a dating app, number one, seek help. Can get number me a two, PC. Find God. Number three, you're probably ugly if I'm being real with you. But you want to know a crazier fact? 14% of Tinder's users are paying users, and that's out of 75 really? million people. And 14% of 75 million is 10.5 million. So that means Shit. that 10.5 million people are paying users oh on God. Tinder. But if I'm being honest, I'm not really as surprised. I mean, right now we are going through a loneliness pandemic. Studies actually show that one in four really? adults feel lonely in the Shit, world I'm right not. now. And also we are living in a time where a lot of people aren't really as wise with their money. I mean, you got people out here buying OnlyFans subscriptions. You got people out here who are spending tons of money on in-game purchases like <laughs> battle passes and in-game skins, which I'm not going to lie. I am pretty... Bro, my old Fortnite account, I sold it, but that shit used to be worth so much. I had so many skins, bro. Guilty of. And you also got people out here so spending many tons of money skins. on DoorDash and fast food each and every day. So all that being said, what is 10 to $20 nowadays? People blow that like it's nothing. So why not spend 10 to $20 and possibly get a relationship out of it? It sounds reasonable, right? And that's exactly how dating apps no. get you. At the end of the day, dating apps are a business. And the goal of a business is to make money. Man, y'all find a relationship the old-fashioned way, you know what I'm saying? In real life and not a dating app, you feel me? That shit, that shit will catch up with you for sure. If the goal of a dating app was to help each and every user find their significant other so they could live happily ever after in life, then that dating app would go out of business because that app would make no money at all. So what are dating apps doing? Selling a solution to the lonely society. And if you're that lonely man that's maybe dropped out of college, only goes to work in the gym, and you're not really around that many women, then you're their exact target because you have two things, money and loneliness. But what's even worse is the algorithm of these dating apps. Tinder actually used to use this ELO system, which is basically a ranking system that's used in chess and video games i say used to in quotes because tinder said they took it out but let's be real that's just a pr business cover-up we all know that they're still using it till this day and how it works is they would rank you based on your attractiveness slash how many people would swipe right on you so pretty really? much if a ton of people swipe right on you that means that you're in high elo and tinder values There's you a, a lot and if you're a person tinder, who bro. a bunch of people swipe left on and they just skip you basically that means that you're in low elo and you're ugly but if that high elo person likes somebody's profile who's low elo that that low elo person's score goes up so if that high elo person has terrible taste in men or women it's a field day for the ugly human beings of the <laughs> earth but what's one way to have more high elo people on your feed and have your profile pushed out to more people in general paying for their premium plans it's actually pretty sad because Bro, it all just boils okay. down to dating apps wanting more money at the end of the day love is priceless you can't just pay your way to love just have fun go outside exactly. live your life and eventually Touch you'll find your significant grass. other i feel like too many people nowadays try to force slash rush the process of things and one of those things being relationships slash love now with this video do i expect every single person that watches it to delete every single dating app no. on their phone no because that's not my intent i mean if you use tinder or any other dating app for free i honestly don't care like if that's what you find fun that's what you find fun but i guess my whole point of this video is that do not spend your money on dating apps you work hard for your money and if you're young twenty dollars is like one to two hours of work and if you're old that's like less than an hour of work but regardless do you really want your 20 dollars to go to a slimy dating app let's be real here but yeah with all that being said this is going to wrap up the video if you guys made this far i appreciate all right y'all boys y'all let me know y'all thoughts comments concerns you feel me um and let me know if y'all ever use a dating app you know what i'm saying what was y'all experience on it you know what i'm saying you feel me but um Roll to 1K, y'all boys like, comment, subscribe. Y'all boys leave in the comment section or you can DM me, DM me on Instagram. It's going to be in the description on what y'all want me to watch. You feel me? Um, 
and I was really just yapping this shit up, you know what I'm saying, so I can get 10 minutes. So, and now I'm at 10 minutes. Let's do it.